Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Christine, and I am finally back with a new in Zara try and haul. We are finally into the autumn winter season which is my favorite season for fashion and I think this is a similar feeling for a lot of people we love fall fashion that's because you can layer and there's so many cool things you can get in stores and Zara is killing it with autumn winter fashion as always but I am going on another vacation in a few days which I'm so excited about I'm actually going to Abu Dhabi and Dubai I cannot believe. I'm so excited. I'm very thankful and blessed that I do get to travel a lot. Every year, I pretty much get most excited to do the Zara hauls around this time of the year. So I'm so excited to show you guys all of these new in bits. Without further ado, let's get started with this new in Zara haul. Let's go. So let's get started. I am wearing my first item, which is actually this beautiful skirt. I'm obsessed. It's a pretty long skirt on me. It's actually a midi skirt. But for me, it's literally on the floor and I actually don't mind the length. I think it's a dope length. Like it's a length that I can deal with. I'll show you guys a full look in a bit. But yeah, as you guys can see, it does have an asymmetric waist, which if you know me, you guys know I'm obsessed with everything that's asymmetric. As long as it fits me right, I'm always keeping asymmetric items. And immediately when I saw this on the website, I just had to get it because I was obsessed with this. The fact that this part is like higher up and it's a different color to the other side is just so cool. I think it looks dope. You can actually wear it a bit high waist, but you can also like pull it down and wear it a bit lower, which I do like. This is a size extra small, by the way. It does have a lot of stretch. So I'm very happy about that because it has to fit all of this in. And usually that doesn't happen with skirts. But yeah, look at my bum. It looks so cute in it. It does have two side pockets, which I love. It has like a normal regular zipper and like a hook closure, a metal hook closure. So it's a very dope skirt. And you do have like a slit in the middle. Let me actually show you guys the full length. How dope is this? So this is the full length. As you guys can see, it's on the floor. But I'm not really mad about the length because if I pull it a bit higher, like more high-waisted, then it's actually fine. So it really depends how you want to wear this. But I feel like I am short. I'm around 160, so that's like 5'3", I think. So if you are taller, this will be perfect. So don't worry about that. It does have a slit here in the middle, which I think is a beautiful detail and obviously makes it easier to walk because I hate when you get like tight skirts and you barely can walk. You're like walking like a penguin and we don't want that. It's not cute. So I feel with this, I'm comfortable because of the stretch. I can move around. It's not too tight. And this is the bag. Very simple in the bag. It does have like a false pocket right here. I did also get this beautiful blue oversized shirt. Like it's colored. It's such a pretty color. It reminds me of my dad's shirt and that's a vibe. So I think this on top of this outfit will be so cute. So I did get the shirt in a size small, but keep Keep in mind it is an oversized fit so you can definitely stick to your own size i did want that extra oversized fit because you guys know i love that but oh my god how cute are these together this is like a very cute fit and it's definitely a vibe you guys know i love saying vibes so <laughs> don't mind me saying vibes like a million times in this video but no i dig this it's very dope it's very comfortable i love being comfortable but yet very fashionable it's like a win-win, you can't go wrong. And I do love the fit. I think you can definitely stick to your own size. So I could have definitely gone with the extra small, but I'm not mad at the size small. I think it's actually dope. I love oversized, so anything oversized makes me happy. So the sun just keeps coming and going, so I'm very sorry about the light. Um, hopefully it's not too annoying, but just so you guys know, that's the situation right now. See, it's coming out again. I just, I don't understand the weather. In the Netherlands in general. I actually also got this skirt in black. The only thing is the black one is in a size small because I was not sure about the size but looking at the fit of this one I have to definitely say that the extra small is a way better fit than the size small. So let's put on the black and this is the black one and as expected it is just very big for me so the size small is definitely too big. The waistband as you guys can see is just very loose um, I mean, if you do love that kind of fit, then definitely go a size up. 
Well, actually, I'm always in between sizes with Zara. I am sometimes an extra small, but sometimes the small just fits me better. And it just really depends on the fit, the material, the type of item it is. So when it comes to Zara, I don't really have a specific size. I just always have to kind of gamble and just hope for the best. So in this case, because there were two colors, I went for one in extra small and one in small so I can compare them. So that really helps me so I can like kind of make a good decision of which size to keep. And sometimes neither of them fit. So don't feel bad with Zara because to be honest, everyone has this problem. So yeah, don't really look at the size. Just look at how... It fits, uh, what makes you feel comfortable, and that's just the best way to handle Zara. I have this camel short skirt. It's a high-waisted skirt with this beautiful like belt buckle detailing in the same fabric, which I love. It does have like a hidden zipper here on the side. This is a size small and it fits me perfect. So I'm definitely happy with the size. It does have this crossover detail as well. So it does have very cute detailing. I do think it's a very simple skirt. And personally for me, I'm not gonna keep it because I think it's a bit too long. I would prefer like a shorter length. I actually don't wear a lot of skirts, even though I just showed you guys like three skirts back to back. I actually do prefer a skirt because it's way more comfortable. You can do everything you want to do in them and they just look cute. So I'm more of a fan of a sh of a skirt <laughs> than a skirt. So this is the back of the skirt. <laughs> like there's so many words, I'm getting confused. But yeah, very simple. Um, but I do think it's a cute skirt. So if you're looking for something like this, definitely try this one out, especially because of the length. If you are so done with mini skirts, this one is not mini. So definitely try this on. I actually got a pair of loafers and I'm kind of digging the idea to like put the loafers with this look. So I'm gonna do that. Let me show you guys loafers first. So here they are. I mean, loafers are so in right now. Everyone got their hands on the Prada loafers, but obviously we don't all have the money to buy Prada loafers. So this is a very great dupe and you can find one in Primark. You can find different designs on even Zara. I feel like because it's a trend, you can definitely find cheaper versions. Obviously, if you do want to spend your money on the Prada ones, do because I totally get why you would do that. But I decided to go with this one. It is a, let me see, loafers with track, sole, and chain. So it does have like this gold chain. It's $49.95. So compared to like 800 euros, it's definitely a bargain. Um, I did get this in my regular size and it does have like this beautiful chunky track sole, which I also love. Let me show you guys up close. So here they are in their full glory. I think they're beautiful. I love that chunky sole. I definitely am a big fan of chunky soles. And I do love the gold detail. I was afraid that the detail would look a bit like cheap, but it actually looks very nice and glam. So I think this is a very beautiful dupe if you are looking for loafers and for the price definitely a winner the only thing i'm concerned about is the this part for like my heel i always get blisters and i'm just very sensitive when it comes to shoes and because this is not the best quality i do think it might be like very painful the first few months i'm exaggerating but my feet like are very sensitive so i'm gonna pop these on so i can show you guys how they look on okay so this is the look i do feel like a preppy school girl if i'm being honest it's giving me gossip girl vibes i mean that is kind of the trend and the vibes we want to go for for autumn winter so not mad at it but how cute are these yeah i do love it i love the big chunky sole it's giving me all of the right vibes and i'm here for it but the only thing is, as I already expected, it is going to be painful. I can already feel like it's not very comfortable, especially my right side. I'm not sure why I only feel that on one side, but there's always one side that's bothering me more than the other. So the right side is definitely going to give me blisters and the left will definitely follow. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because I feel like I'm not going to wear it a lot because I'm afraid of walking outside and being in pain the whole day and i hate that i want to feel comfortable especially when it comes to my feet comfortable is a must so that's the only thing i have with these and obviously because they are cheaper that's kind of like part of the deal i mean if you do own the prada ones can you let me know if they're also like very uncomfortable or if they're very like soft leather and very like chill to wear i'm curious to know if 
the more you pay the more comfortable the shoe gets because i'm not sure about that actually but no these are cute though so if you're going for the look these are definitely it but if you're going for comfortable i'm not sure you have to test this one out for yourself these pants are wonderful i'm obsessed with the fit i was surprised because cargo pants and zara tend to be very tight on my bum but this feels amazing on it's very comfortable it's supposed to be a mid-rise but on me it's like a high rise like my belly button is covered so in my book this is definitely a high rise maybe if you have like a longer upper body because i do have a short one it might be a bit more my mid rise my rise it might be a bit more mid rise so yeah but i love the color i think it's perfect for autumn winter i love everything that's like nudes chocolate all that it's a vibe um so you do have two patch pockets on the side you have two on the leg and you also have on your bum which is a win-win you have pockets everywhere I love this and these are all real pockets the length is perfect like how insane is this like I never thought that I could find like a perfect pair of pants in Zara and these are definitely insane the only thing is if I'm gonna complain the waistband is not that perfect you do have a lot of gaping in the back but I'm not too mad at that because in the front it fits me nice so I only have to deal with this in the back which is not cute but when you do have a bigger bum that kind of happens a lot so I can't really complain I actually am surprised with these I love them I got them in a size 36 which is my usual go-to size so i'm happy they fit and i mean my bum does look good in them it's not suffocating my bum and i love when pants just fit right so definitely a keeper and we have the cutest little skirt it's so small and i love it it's giving me that mini skirt trend vibe that we all are into right now but without being like super uncomfortable because it's a skirt there's a short underneath how comfortable is that? And I mean, I just said that to you guys. I am obsessed with squirts. I think they're the most versatile and super comfortable and easy to add item into your wardrobe because you cannot go wrong with a squirt. It does have to fit you right though. So that's the only thing. I love this color. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful squirt. You do have a hidden zipper here on the side and you have like this kind of asymmetric like crossover flap happening and you also have belt loops so if you're into wearing a belt you can definitely do that with the skirt and the back it's so small and cutesy the only thing is i feel like it's a tiny bit too big for me on the waist i'm not sure if you guys can see that but there is a lot of space um in the front it's not bothering me at all i think the fit in the front is just fine but in the back i do have a lot of gaping so maybe i have to try on the extra small this is a size small um, i went with the safe size which is a small before i continue i feel like i just have to show you guys this item because it is my favorite out of this whole haul and i'm pretty sure it's everyone else's favorite as well i've seen a lot of zara hauls in the past two weeks and everyone got this jacket and i cannot blame them because i'm obsessed with the jacket as well every year zara comes out with like a jacket that everyone has to get and i feel like this one is definitely that one how beautiful is this like i just can't chef's kiss obsessed i love the color i love this big like collar in this like borg kind of teddy bear material imagine how comfortable you're gonna be in this jacket when it's colder like I cannot wait to start wearing this. It's not that cold yet. So I'm kind of like avoiding to wearing jackets because I want to kind of still be in summer. Like in my mind, I, I still am, but the reality is we're not. So I'm kind of wearing like my denim jacket, which doesn't make sense because it's way colder than denim jacket vibe. So let me stop talking because, oh my God, I am obsessed with this. The fit is insane. I got this in a size small. I was doubting in going a size up to get it like a bit more oversized, but I feel like it's oversized enough for me. I can definitely wear like chunky sweaters, knits under this, and it still would be comfortable. I could still like move my arms around. I feel like when you're buying jackets for like fall, winter, that's like what's most important. You have to buy it the right size. So when you're layering items underneath, you still have like room to like move and feel comfortable it's pretty pricey though 89 euros but 
I feel like this one is a staple to add to your wardrobe. You will be using this jacket for like the coming three years or maybe even more. If you have not bought this yet, run to the website. Run and order this one right away. Obsessed. So this is a long satin skirt. It's a black satin skirt. They also have this in like a pearly color, which is also beautiful. Where I felt like I needed a long satin skirt, a black one, I'm sorry. Um, why? Because I don't have one. I don't think people have long satin skirts. Well, no, actually, let me rephrase that. I don't think a lot of people have a black long satin skirt. Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm trying to find an excuse to keep this, as always. But you do have this elastic waistband and these drawstrings. So it's a very comfortable fit. I got this in a size small. I did try on the extra small in stores. And I felt like it looked weird around my bum because um, it was like kind of pulling the fabric here. So I definitely think the small is a better fit and it's a very comfortable fit. So I'm not mad at the fit and I can actually like bring it down if I wanted to wear it a bit more like low waisted. So if you are into low waist and this is also an option so you can wear it low waist or just pull it up and wear it as a high waist. So it really depends what you prefer. Because I am going to Abu Dhabi and Dubai where it is apparently excruciating hot. Um, I'm pretty scared that I'm gonna die over there because I cannot deal with the heat um, but I did have to buy a lot of new in items that are more fitting for that weather I mean you guys know when I travel I tend to just order everything new which not it's not good because that means I'm gonna go on a vacation with less money which does not make sense but okay at least my fits look great so I was looking for a pair of cute sandals to wear there because I feel like the past year or two I have not found a cute pair of sandals to add to my summer wardrobe. I've been wearing the same thing, which is not bad, but I do want something new. So I got these beautiful sandals. I know it's fall winter, but if you are living in a hot country or you're from an island like me, you would definitely want to get these. So I found these beautiful like flat sandal. It has like a square toe, but it has these beautiful like rhinestone detailing on the straps. And I thought it was very chic and elegant, but yet very casual. And that's exactly the vibe I'm going for in Dubai. I think they're beautiful. My only concern is that these might fall out because it is Zara at the end of the day. So I'm not sure if it's worth the money. It is actually $39.95 and I got them in a size 37, which is my regular size. But I do think they're beautiful. And the color, you can wear these with literally everything. Are you kidding me? Oh, I thought I lost a rhinestone. <laughs> but no, they're all here. Um, I think it's so pretty. It fits me amazing and it does not feel uncomfortable at all. It's actually very comfy. So I think these might be a keeper. I'm just very concerned about these rhinestones. Like if I lose one, it's gonna be obvious and I hate that. I also bought this choker. I'm not sure about it. I just don't know how a choker would look on me because I don't have like a long neck. Like a skinny long neck i feel like i have a chunky neck so <laughs> is that a thing yeah um it does look very cool though and i think this could be so cool in abu dhabi or dubai but i'm just so confused if this is gonna look good on me this is like the back part um and this was 9.95 so it's not pricey i feel like for the quality it's kind of looking amazing it's not pricey but I'm just not sure. I want to try it on. But obviously you can because then you cannot return this. And I've kind of broken like this part already. So I feel like I just need to keep it. But what do you guys think? Is there like potential here? Do you guys feel this? Like will it look hot? I want to look hot. I feel like it can be like dope. I'm just not sure. I feel like I have a really like chunky. Is that even a word for your neck? I feel like I have like a chunky neck. Does a chunky neck look cute with chokers? I don't know. So I was walking around in the Zara store like I do every other day. It's like my regular thing. And I saw this skirt and I was feeling it. It's a mini skirt, which, hear me out, it's it's cute. Um, it's comfortable too. I did see this on the website, but the model did not look great with the skirt on. So I literally, like I kept scrolling. But in stores, I did definitely see the potential. I feel like I look like a cowgirl because of this belt, like the buckle 
cowboy vibes and i'm actually obsessed with that i don't know why i've never been into like buckle detailing like this but i think this is so cool i love the way it looks it is a mini skirt though so there's no short underneath it's just a skirt you do have like this belt detail um a hidden zipper on the side but i love the fabric i love the fact that the hem looks like it's washed and used i think that's so cool i love the belt and the buckle detail i feel like i need cowboy boots and then my outfit would be complete i think it's very dope i'm not sure if this is for everyone i'm pretty sure people are watching right now and saying like mm, it's not it but i think it's cool so if i think it's cool i'm gonna wear it i got this in a size small and it's only 29.95 run to the website guys this is definitely like a dope item to add to your wardrobe and it's very like y2k vibes as well so i'm here for it for sure oh my god i found the tallest freaking platform heels ever and they kind of look insane so my head is gonna be cut off because i cannot fit my whole body and these heels in one frame so yeah let me show you guys <laughs> Oh, actually i do fit <laughs> never mind talking about y2k vibes this is y2k vibes i love this that chunky heel is everything i'm so bummed i kept the other high black heels that i got from zara because these are like on another level even though these i'm not sure if i'm gonna wear this a lot well actually they're very comfortable they look very high but because of the platform it's not that high it's more about the height um i feel very tall i'm definitely gonna be passing some people but when i wear this which i'm not mad about i don't know with the skirt and like maybe like a black top this would be such a dope outfit and maybe like a big oversized jacket on top or like a blazer yes these are so freaking amazing i just i just can't and these are uh 59.85 so 60 euros they are a bit pricey but the quality looks insane and the fit it's so comfortable it has like this special like kind of like ooh, oh my god look at the height difference <laughs> up and down it's like a workout even oh my god let me just stop doing that because my knees I'm just in love how beautiful so apparently it has like this special type of like sole in them which is making it extra comfortable so it's all about the comfort like you can feel it it's like comfy obsessed these are so freaking dope so when I saw these on the website I was not into it at all the model made them look not cool for some reason and then I was watching like Zara hauls on YouTube I saw Madison Sarah's Zara haul and she got these pants they are high-waisted cargo trouser pants and she made them look so cool I love being inspired by other youtubers and influencers because that's like how I kind of want to be for my following as well I love being inspired by other people and inspiring other people so that was so cool but these are indeed very dope so thank you Madison for that she made them look so insane I was like oh my god I have to go on the website and order them right away and that's exactly what I did because I had all of these already and I literally got these like a few days ago so they're so dope they're very baggy. I did get these size small. Oh, it's a 36, by the way. I got the 36. I am going to say they do run a bit big. Um, so if you're into that oversized baggy fit, then definitely stick to your size. If you don't want it to be very oversized and baggy, then size down. You can wear it high-waisted because you do have an elastic waistband with drawstring. So if you're into high waist, you can wear it like this, which also looks cool. But I'm kind of loving this low waist vibe it's giving me. So it's very versatile. You can wear it two ways. And then you have these big pockets here on the legs. Obviously, these two are also pockets. And in the back, you also have these two pockets. Like, how cool does it look? And then the hem at the bottom is adjustable. You have, like, drawstrings as well here. So you can, like tie them up and then it's like more of a cuffed bottom or you can just leave it open and then you have more of like a 
like a flared bottom which I kind of like the way they both look so it's definitely up to you and I especially love like the contrast seam detailing it has it's giving the cargo trousers a bit of a different unique look and again love that you guys know how I love a cohort set that has a matching blazer and trousers obsessed so cool I love this brown taupey color. I think it's, again, perfect for this season. You cannot go wrong with a beautiful set like this. The fit is insane. I got them both in a size small, and I do love the fit of the blazer. Personally, maybe I would definitely want to size up. Wow, that's like a lot of different words. <laughs> maybe, definitely. <laughs> so I think I want to size up. Let me rephrase that because it is a bit fitted. So maybe a size medium would be like awesome, but I'm not saying it's not right. I do think it still looks amazing. I love that it has shoulder pads in because that is just essential when it comes to a great oversized blazer. It does have two pockets in the front, which I love a pocket on the blazer. And the back is just very simple. But yeah, no, I love this. And then I also have the matching trouser. I'm going to take this off so I can show you guys the trousers better. I did get the trouser in a size small. However, I do think it's a bit too big on the waist. So in the back, again, I do have the gaping problem, which I have a lot with trousers. I love how it fits everywhere else except for the waistband so we'll see how the extra small fits but it has a zip closure a hook and eye metal closure as well two pockets which i love and then two false pockets in the back so yeah the length is pretty okay it's a bit too long obviously you guys can see it's on the floor but i mean again hems are an easy fix i could definitely ask my mom or my bestie to fix the hem for me so that's not a big problem but I do love the color. I love the way it looks. I think these two together, it's just everything. This is just a simple black full length pair of trousers. I have been searching for a black pair for so long because I actually don't own like a simple basic black pair of trousers. And I have found a few on Zara, but they never really fit me well or like I want them to. So I was trying again with this one. I do like this one. The only problem is it's just way too long. Like, it's just... I can't pull this off. It's just way too long. So I do have to get this fixed. And I kind of want to find a pair that I can just put on right away because I want to wear this like every day. So it doesn't make sense that I have to get it fixed to wear it. I just hate that. Um, but I don't know. You guys have to let me know. I do love the fit. The fabric is like a bit stretchy and because of that, it fits like a dream. So the band is just hugging my body. Like it's the perfect fit. You guys can see this. Like I'm just obsessed with the fit. My bum looks amazing. It's very stretchy and comfortable. So soft. And I do love the fact that it's like a bit like, um, like a white leg fit, if you know what I mean. Like it's very wide. I do like that. It's very glam, but yeah, casual and basic. Just I, I just need a black pair of trousers, and I think these will do just fine. So I did get this in a size small, and it's only $29.95. It's very cheap, though. So that is kind of winning me over because it's so cheap. Like, if this was 40 euros, I would have been like, hell no, send that back. But 29 let me know guys. I kind of was influenced into buying this pair of jeans and the one I can blame is Sarah Ashcroft. I think everyone who bought this pair of jeans actually saw the Sarah Ashcroft video. She made like a TikTok video I think it was and also on her Instagram a video where she was styling this beautiful rhinestone jean and she paired it with like a bodysuit which was like actually a swimsuit but the bodysuit had like a lot of cutouts and it looked so sexy on and because of her I went on the website and I ordered this one they actually fit me fine I was concerned that they might be a bit too tight but they're I mean they're tight but they're not uncomfortably tight so I definitely think that when I start wearing them they're gonna be a bit more looser and then they will fit just fine so I got this in a size 36 so as you can see, hopefully you can see this on camera because it's so pretty. So I am hoping it shows on camera, but it has so many rhinestones going all the way down to the bottom. It has like more on top and then it goes like less to the bottom. It is a mid waist um, fit. And again, I'm not mad about it. I don't know what's happening to me. Like, who am I? I'm changing. I used to be high waist only and now I'm like wearing low waist 
Filling the mid waist, going with mini skirts and everything in between. It is um, $49.95, so it's 50 euros. But for a pair of jeans with rhinestone applique, I think it's worth it. You know what I'm concerned about when I throw these in the washing machine? I'm concerned that all the rhinestones are going to fall off, which I don't want because obviously I'm paying for the rhinestones. Like... So hopefully the quality is good as well. Got this top as well. Maybe I should put it on and show you guys. It's like a sparkly, like, I don't think these match though. But I'm just going to pop it on so I can show you guys. Like, it's like this, like, uh, chain material. Very sparkly. And I feel like this is perfect for, like, the holiday season. So in December. I mean, it might look cute. Let me just pop it on. Okay, this is the top. What do we think? This is a bit more revealing, a bit more sexy. I do have nipple covers on, so you're not seeing anything. It is like a mesh, like rhinestone top. I love the asymmetric vibes it has. And like this part is hanging. Like if you have bigger boobs, this will look so sexy on, like 1000%. And the straps are adjustable, which I love. You have like a metal like lobster clasp, so you can put it in wherever you want. So not only is this part adjustable, but this part is adjustable as well which is very awesome because a lot of the times you find these tops and are not that adjustable, so they don't really fit your body well. So I do think it fits me perfectly fine. I just don't know if I'm going to wear this a lot. I do think it's sexy. I personally would not wear these two together. I think it's a bit too much. <laughs> like, I'm like a rhinestone ball at this moment. I mean, if you want to be extra, definitely do. I just don't feel like this top is a top for Dubai either. I could definitely wear this top in Curacao. But that's like in December, so it's like a long way to go. And I feel like you're definitely going to bring out a lot more of these type of tops for that season. So is it really worth keeping? I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the back. As you guys can see, you can adjust this bit and the halter bit as well. I must say I'm loving the sunlight right now. I feel very like glowy and yeah, it's just summer vibes. So as I mentioned, the sun is doing its own thing today so i have this green like sweetheart neckline kind of heart shaped top like this knit fabric very thick very nice fabric very stretchy as well it's a cute top but i don't have boobs and the only way this top will stay up is if you have a pair of boobs and you guys know i'm very flat chested i just i have a bum i don't have boobs and i'm okay with that i love my body but um this top will not stay up like if i just Go like this it's gonna just slip down so i would have to tie it like very like tight in the back and i feel like that's not really the vibe of the top so it just literally just ties up right here and then that's it so i definitely think if you have oh it's a plane it's a plane look over there <laughs> So yeah, I definitely think if you do have like bigger boobs, this will stay up. I do have this beautiful pair of jeans. It is a slim fit like straight leg jean with like split hem on the bottom. I just love the way they fit. I think it's so beautiful. I love the color as well. I'm always looking for a great pair of jeans and I never find them. So if I do find one, I'm happy. It does fit me amazing. I think it's the perfect fit. It is a size 36 and it's $29.95. So it's very cheap as well. It has no cutouts, like no rips and stuff because I do want like a clean pair of jeans for like the winter season because I do wear jeans a lot. So I do want to be comfortable and covered. This is the back. My bum looks cute as always. The only thing is I feel like it's a bit gapy in the back and ugh, there's so many tags. And it is showing like my underwear if I like bend over. So I'm not sure about that. But I do think they look cute. And the length is pretty perfect. Like it's long. It's on the floor. But it's not like, you know, like long, long. <laughs> it's okay. But I, I think it's, it's a perfect fit. Let me know what you guys think. Let me show you guys the whole length. Okay, now you guys can see the full length. How cute. Yeah, I love it. So I saw this a rhinestone mesh top on Zara and it looks so interesting. And I just had to get it. So I'm not sure how to wear this yet. However, I did see Sophie Murray. I think her name is called from Ireland. She's insane. Love her hauls and vlogs. I saw her style this on Instagram and she wore it so many cute ways. So there's definitely a lot you can do with this top. Uh, I'm not even sure how to put this on though. 
I'm just gonna pair it right now with the jeans I just showed you guys and this Primark top which again everyone has because if you don't you're living under a rock at this point I just have to figure out how I'm gonna wear this but it does have great potential I definitely believe you can do a lot with this top so it can be a great addition because you can like pair this with like a bralette just like how I did it now or you can put it like on top of a basic like long sleeve black top or a normal like black cropped top or even like a dress like a simple dress you can literally do a lot with this so i definitely think i have to keep this i, I mean i have to keep everything in this haul for god's sake <laughs> i'm keeping everything i love the fact that the fabric is like built to like cinch in your waist so it's not like a straight fabric doing nothing for your body it actually has shape in it and i do like that i'm sure you guys up close Look at the shine. Like, where is the sun right now? I feel like I need the sunlight, like, right about now on top of me. Can you, like, come? No? Okay. It's okay. I'll shine by myself. <laughs> no, I love this. Very cool. What was the price of this, though? So, this is 40 euros. Um, I think it's worth it. <laughs> I just think it's worth it. I actually have another, like, mesh type of fabric where is it oh it's this one but i kind of got this to wear it as like a beach cover up we are gonna go to a lot of beach clubs in dubai and you know they're extra in dubai so being all shiny like this <laughs> might be a vibe but even wearing this in like december december i feel like i'm saying like december like it's a big thing i mean it's a big thing december is fun okay i love december but when I think about December, I think about home because I always go back home, which is Curacao, where I'm from. And imagine this for like Noche Buena. Like the, the Curacao people who are watching this know what I mean. I will feel so sexy and I will be so extra. So this might be like a dope like New Year's Eve or Christmas outfit. Am I being way too extra? I feel like I'm not. Maybe I should just try this on. I am not sure what to think about this. There's a part of me that is obsessed with this and the other part of me is like, is it really worth it? I think I would love this more if it was in black because I feel like with the black like high-waisted pants and the black bralette, it would be better fitting. Like birds, can you please like not be screaming the whole day? Can you hear the birds? Like it's so annoying. <laughs> Like birds, not be a bird for a moment. I'm kidding. Um, so I'm sorry for the background noise, guys. Um, it's beautiful, though. I don't know. I kind of want to see myself wearing this with New Year's. I need my bum. <gasps> Dang, girl. Like, my bum looks so good. I love it. I love when my bum looks good. It's like, yes, I'm keeping you. I'm obsessed. I mean, I kind of want you guys to tell me. Do I look hot as sorry um do i look very hot <laughs> you guys need to let me know if i look very hot because then i'm definitely gonna keep it i feel like i need to wear this christmas for the party not for family like that's too much christmas like the party like noche buena or new year's or any other party that they have in curacao in december which there's a whole lot of parties so or maybe even with carnival season. I mean, this can go a lot of ways. So it's not very long. It goes like right above my ankle. So I feel like it's a beautiful length as well. It would have been nice if it was very long. That would have been so glam. But yeah, this is the full look. You guys have to really let me know with this one because I'm a bit confused. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. But I do think it has amazing potential. This is a lace midi dress and it has this beautiful like detail in the front. So it does have a very deep neckline. Um, I would prefer to sit a bit more up here, but the straps are not adjustable. So I don't like that about the dress. I love adjustable straps because I don't have boobs. So when something is like this, it goes lower than someone with boobs because someone with boobs would just hold up the fabric a bit more. But you have like this kind of like a bralette overlay detail and then you have like this lace like with a lace trim detail happening underneath as well so i think it's a very unique and dope detail because i don't know if you guys can see this part is like separate 
and then underneath you have like the lace detailing so it's literally like a bralette on top of the dress if that makes sense so i think it's a very unique detail and very nice and that's the reason why i love the dress and i also love the back it has like a low like dipping in the back it has a hidden zipper right here so yeah it's very comfortable i got this in a size small and i do love the fit it's not very long um it's literally right around my calf so yeah i think it's a beautiful dress so this is another cohort set and it is beautiful thank you son <laughs> did you guys see that the sun actually just came out um it does not fit me right it's not like made for my body but i do believe that if this fits you right this will be an amazing and the sun is gone again <laughs> this will be an amazing look so if you do think this might fit you definitely run to your website because i think it's amazing but let's start with the waistcoat so it's a corsetry inspired waistcoat because it has a very fitted fit and it has a very deep v neckline and you do have all of these metal hook fastening in the front so literally just like a corset um, um, I think it's beautiful. If you had a longer upper body and a bit more boobs, I think this will fit you amazing on. As you can see, it's missing some boobs here. <laughs> the fabric is like, it's built to have something in here and it's not doing that on my body. It's just not. And I feel like it's just cutting right here because it's supposed to be a bit more longer. And that's because I have a short upper body. So again, look at the potential. You do have these flat pockets as well, which I think are so cute. And this is the back, just very simple. I mean, I've tried waistcoats a lot in the past and they just don't fit me. It just doesn't work on my body and I'm okay with that, but I do think this set is amazing. Let's talk about the trousers. So I got these in a size small, but they are gigantic on, okay? They're very big. I'm gonna bring this up so you guys can see the waistband better. As you can see, it's just way too big. I do think they're so cool though. They're like made to be very big big and masculine and oversized it's like a masculine fit dang son like <laughs> the sun is out guys it's so annoying um i'm not annoyed by the sun i'm just annoyed that the light keeps changing these are a size small so i definitely have to get the extra small to see if they fit they are adjustable though which i know is insane so they actually have extra fabric here on the side i don't know if you guys can see that let me come a bit closer so it does have this extra fabric and as you can see, this part, it has like a button detail right here. So if you loosen up the button and you like take off this part, you actually can make it like bigger. But I feel like it's so big already. So I would definitely not do that. But I do love this detail. So it actually looks like you adjusted the trouser because a lot of people like actually do this. It's so genius. It's such a pretty detail as well. So if this can fit you right, it will look so cute. So I definitely want to go on the website and see if they have an extra small. So definitely stick to your size or even go down a size because it's definitely big. It is, however, also very, very long. So that is a big problem as well. It's very like wide though. Like the hem is so wide. I do like it though. It's very extra. So if this fits you like perfectly on, then it's definitely a keeper. I think it's a very dope set. It's just a shame that it does not fit me right. I'm definitely going to try and see if I can get the pants in an extra small and hope that they fit me better. I do think though, however, that they might still be a bit too big for me. So that's a shame. However, I do feel like a lot of people can fit these. So definitely go check this set out. It's a beautiful set. I hope you guys can see the potential because on me, it's not really showing that but I can see it. So if I can see it, you guys can see it. Last but not least, this might be my favorite look next to the jacket because I'm obsessed with that jacket. But this set is insane. It is a cohort set. It is a tool like long sleeve mesh top with like this beautiful gathering here on the side. And you have the matching like high-waisted midi skirt in the same fabric. The only thing is this one is lined, so it's not see-through. It does have this beautiful gathering detail right here and on the side and in the back as well. I think this set is just so stunning. I'm so obsessed and surprised because I was not really sure what to expect. But it looks so beautiful. And my bum looks, again, insane. I love that this, like, gathering detail here in the back as well. The only thing is the neck part, like this area, I feel like it's very tight. So it's a bit suffocating me, um, which I'm not too happy about. But I feel like 
I can handle it for the beauty of the top. I love that it's giving you the same like gathering detail on the neck part. It's just beautiful. Like it's all about the details with this set. I got them both in a size small. The skirt has like a elastic waistband. It's not tight fitting at all. It's so like comfortable. It fits nice, like it's fitted but comfortable. And I just love the way it drapes like all the way down. So this is the length. So as you guys can see, again, it's not very long. I think it's the perfect length. Um, it's just so glam. Like I can definitely see myself wearing this whole set, like even the long sleeve. Even though Dubai is hot, everywhere inside has airco, so it's very cold inside. And I feel like this is giving me like modest, sexy vibe. So that was it, guys. Those were all of the items I had to show you guys today for my Zara haul. I am definitely going to say it was a big success. I'm so happy with each and every item that I showed you guys. Even though a few of them did not fit me right, I still did love them. So it really depends on how it fits on you. But I would definitely recommend all of these items. I'm obsessed and I'm so happy. The only thing is I now cannot decide what to send back because I do have to send some items back. I literally spent around 800 euros and I'm not going to keep all of them because I'm pretty sure Zara is going to keep on bringing amazing items like back to back every week. So I do have to make some tough decisions. But yeah, no, obsessed. Let me know what you guys think. So please leave me a comment down below telling me which item was your favorite item and what are you getting? I would love to know that. And of course, guys, please go on my Instagram and TikTok. I would love you guys to support me there and follow me there i do post a lot and obviously i'm going to abu dhabi and dubai i'm gonna be posting on my instagram stories every day and definitely gonna be posting on my feed and my tiktok as well i will give you guys tips on where to go where to eat and yeah just everything you need to know so definitely go follow me there and of course i definitely will be vlogging as well so i'm so excited i'm so thankful again thanks to you guys i get to do a lot of amazing things and i get to collab with amazing brands it's all because of your support so definitely keep on supporting if you do see me by the way on the street and you want to say hi or you want to send me a message definitely do i have been getting a lot of that lately and it makes me so happy and it really reminds me why i'm doing this it is because i want to inspire other people just like other people inspired me so yeah i do love this job and i'm so happy and thankful so thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys real soon next up will be my dubai and abu dhabi vlog and i cannot wait to show you guys all of the amazing things we have planned so stay tuned bye guys